to all the hippie mamas out there. I didn't have a hippie mama, but I had a surrogate hippie mama. My parents, they were friends with these hippies. My parents were not hippies, but they were friends with hippies. And they used to take me over to this lady, Fran Dinson's house. And she had lots of kaleidoscopes and crystals and beanbag chairs and she collected pinball machines. She had those little soaps. You remember those little like things that they weren't, what were they? They, they weren't soaps. They were like these little things and you'd pour water on them and they'd turn into uh, like dinosaurs. Remember those? She had some of those. Anyway, when my parents came, uh, when they brought me over here from Warsaw, Poland, when I was a wee lad, they had big hopes of me becoming a doctor or a lawyer or something. But Fran Dinson got in the way of all that. One day she, she took me upstairs into her dark tower. She's like, I see you have taken interest in my kaleidoscopes. Are you ready for the biggest kaleidoscope of all? And I said, I don't think so, Fran. But she said, I don't care. You're going to look through this thing. And your life will be changed. And so I looked through it and the world shattered into a thousand pieces. <laughs> and here I am today, before you, carrying her message. <laughs> Fran passed away 20 years ago now, but I, and this was the first song I ever wrote. I wrote for her. I was trying to write a sad song for so long. I was like, two weeks went by trying to write this sad song for Fran and nothing was coming out. And then I realized that she didn't want a sad song anyway. So I wrote this song anyway for her. And this one's called 